Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. Today we're gonna be trying some useful life hacks by Five Minute Crafts. Oh, uh, let's just jump into it. First thing you're gonna want for this one is a pool noodle. And then you get a wire thing? I don't know what that is exactly. I've never seen a tool like this before. Uh, and you just cut it into this shape. Uh, then when you're done, you just cut it all off and boom, you got yourself a fancy phone holder. Wow, look, that's good. <laughs> I paused on a funny spot. <laughs> Anyway, let's go make ourselves a new phone holder. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm actually gonna need to make a special cutting tool. But in order to make the special cutting tool, I'm gonna have to use a special cutting tool. To the garage! So I'm gonna go ahead and draw out the shape of our tool first. It's almost like a slingshot shape. Just gotta make it nice and sturdy, you see. Maybe a little bit wider. Honestly, that should do fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it down. Now we cut this bad boy. Good enough. I'm gonna grab some of this water and just feed it on through. And now we have the perfect tool for the job. What this tool is exactly, I'm not sure, but they had something very similar. It was a lot more elegant than this, but you know, this is gonna work. So now that we have our tool, it's time to cut our pool noodle. Like I said, I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna do my darn best. There's a lot of pool noodle here, so I'm just gonna try and cut a little section and hopefully it'll work. Ugh. This does not cut very well. Oh, it's working! There we go. Okay, so we have our pool noodle piece. And I think I'm actually gonna try heating up this wire with this blowtorch. And in theory, this should just slip through just like butter. You ready, guys? And here we go. Oh, wow, it's working. And that was all the heat. This might take a little while. I don't know what kind of tool that was. It was a really cool looking saw. It's like a wire saw. I'll just try sawing it. I think that might be the best method. Oh, it's working. There we go. Turn it and then do the other side. That is not working very well. I'm gonna break out a bigger blowtorch. Yes, this should heat up nicely. Oh my. Oh yes. Okay, here we go. Try it again. Oh, that went right through like butter. Oh, look how crispy those lines are. I'm impressed. Not with my cut, but with how well it cut. Heating it up was definitely the move. But now it's very loose. Okay, one final cut, guys. Hey guys, it's nice and hot. Time for the final cut. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Just like butter. Oh, and then it just stops all of a sudden. That's fine saw the rest of it. We now have a little crown made out of pool noodle. Okay guys, and we're about to find out, will this hold my phone? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I probably could have, oh, I could have probably cut it a little straighter. But you know what? It's a pretty good phone holder. I don't know why you need two of these cross beams, but maybe it's too orientated a little different. Will it hold my phone like this? <gasps> it does! Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Scratches on forehead. So, uh, you're gonna play blind hide and go seek with your kid. Oh, I got you! I got you! What are you doing? Exactly! Are you watching 17 Best Parenting Life Hacks Survival Guide for Parents? Priceless Hacks for Parents? Yeah. By T Studios? Yeah, how'd you know? It says it right there, it's on the screen. Oh, <laughs> well in that case, come on, let's do this. Okay, so anyway, where were we? You ready, intern? Yeah. You're playing blind hide and go seek with your kid and your kid just stumbles over a rock. Bro, she fell straight on her face. <laughs> that must have hurt. So and then you rush to get them and they're just, oh, this is when you know you messed up, okay? So we're gonna quickly analyze the situation. She's hurt, he's like, oh, you're so hurt. And then the mom's like, what the heck, what, what were you guys doing? Okay, so she goes and she just falls, she trips on this rock. Right on her face. Right on her <gasps> face. What? What's going on? <laughs> oh no, what's going on? <laughs> and then the, the dad's like, oh, oh my gosh, oh, she's so injured. Ooh. Oh, how could you <laughs> neglect her? She's like, what? What are you saying? I neglected her? You were playing blind hide and go seek with her. The mom is just confused. She's like, what did I do? I was just reading my book. And she, they're heated. They're, as you can see, the fire above their heads. And they're just arguing while their kid's just crying. That looks horrible. This is not what to do, Michael. Okay, let's see the proper way to do this. You're like, oh my gosh, she's so injured. And you're just so caring. The woman's like, oh no, a place, you gotta help her. And, and he grabs the first aid kit. He's got the saline solution. Oh my gosh, the saline solution. 
Oh shit! Okay, so you perform basic first aid. You grab the antiseptic. Is this still basic first aid? This is still very basic first aid. How about the bandage? That's also basic first aid. And the calling the hospital. That's just calling the hospital. And they're going to the hospital. Okay, I think I missed a life hack here. This is just, just seems like what to do if your kid gets hurt. And pretty basic knowledge. Michael, did you know that if you got hurt, you're supposed to call 911? Not if I like fell on the ground. I Hello, my intern fell. We were playing blind tag and he tripped on a rock. Oh, my elbow. My elbow, please take me to the hospital. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one probably works. I don't know if I want to try it. Anyway, on to the next... Life hack? I don't know what these are actually called. Okay guys, here's how you make yourself a little paper rocket. So you grab yourself a straw and just uh, put it on a piece of paper, roll up that piece of paper, take that bad boy down, put on its its nose cone, put on some wings, and boom, blow on your straw, you got yourself a little paper rocket. I don't see why this wouldn't work. First things first, guys, we grab our paper, and then we're gonna use a yellow piece, because that's what they use, and then we grab our straw and just roll it on up. I feel like it doesn't need to be this long, so I'm actually gonna cut it to about halfway because I don't think it really needs to be that thick. Then we're gonna tape it down. Okay, it looks pretty good. And then we have to make our little rocket nose. So we're just gonna take a blue piece of paper and make it into kind of like a cone. Go ahead and tape it down. I'm putting tape all over it just to make it nice and airtight. Now we're gonna take our little cone and just snip it. It's never even. I do this with the craft mystery too. And somehow they just threw it on to this. I don't know how the heck they did it, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna tape this part shut, even though they didn't say to. Maybe if I just put the tape kind of like on the sides and then shove it in like that, then just kind of push the tape down. That might hold it. I don't know. It's gonna be going straight, so it doesn't really matter that much. Then we go ahead and make the wings. There we go. Snip that in half, tape them on. Okay guys, so this is how mine turned out, and uh, this is how theirs turned out. I think the main difference is my wings are a little bit bigger, and the nose is also a little bigger. Also, I think my wing was uneven. Oh, that's a lot closer to theirs. But the nose is still kind of big, that's fine. I think it's time to try this bad boy out. Let's do it. Oh yes, what a truly impressive piece of aeronautical engineering. Let's see how far I can blow this bad boy. One, two, would recommend. <laughs> okay guys, so for this one, you're gonna want a box. And then you're gonna want to cut a hole for your face in that box. Then just put a bunch of Skittles all over it. Just crop it into your face and boom, it looks like you're covered in Skittles. This one looks like a lot of fun, so I'm gonna try it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need for this one is a box. Then we're gonna make it a little bit shorter by cutting it down. It really doesn't need to be very deep. Uh, it just needs to be able to fit the Skittles. So now I have to draw a circle to match my face. I don't really know how else I would do this, so um, I guess I'm just going to grab a Sharpie and just like, squish my face right against it. And just outline my face like that. Ready? Okay. Oh no. no. I don't think my face is shaped like that. I feel like it's a little wider. I'm hoping this one actually works. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. Does that work? Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, okay, yeah, that looks about the shape of my face. Let's see, does it work? Okay, yeah, I think uh, I think this might actually work. I'm gonna do a sideways angle so you guys can see how ridiculous this looks as I do it. I'm gonna put these right on my chest. Now I need to get my hair in there. Okay, now I have to open the Skittles. I should've gotten myself a pillow. I'm gonna use my hat. Oh, I'm dropping all my Skittles. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna zip this again. You ready? Oh no, the bag's open. Pouring all the Skittles. I don't think I'm gonna have enough Skittles. Fill that in. Oh, they're starting to drop through. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have enough Skittles though. Spread out the Skittles. Ah. Oh, they're going through. Oh gosh. How's that look, guys? Does it look good? Oh my gosh, I just realized. I need to be the other way. That's okay. I'm just surrounded in Skittles. Oh no, the Skittles are falling. Oh! I made the hole way too big. Ah! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna- Oh my 
got Skittle in my eyes. This one, uh, this one uh, oh. kind of works. Oh god, no, I need more Skittles. Mm, it's delicious though. Guys, are you just so tired of just carrying around your watermelon? Well, take off your pants, go into one leg of them, tie a knot in the other leg, and then shove your watermelon right in there. <laughs> Boom! A fashionable way to carry a watermelon. I am actually amazed. Okay guys, so here are my giant pants. Now I'm just gonna wear my giant pants as I do. Oh yes, just wear them right over my normal clothes. I like to wear them really high up, just like this. Hey kids, get off my lawn. Anyway, this is how I wear my pants. I'm very proud of them. I wear them up high. I love these pants, but I always have to hold them up while I'm carrying my watermelon. So you know, this might actually be the perfect solution. So here we go. I'm just gonna switch into one leg. Oh, do I fit? I do! Guys, it's working! Can I tie a knot in the end of this leg? Grab our watermelon and just uh, shove it in there! Oh my gosh! Okay, ready? No one, no two! Oh, oh gosh! Oh! Whoa! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. You can 100% hold a watermelon in there. And this look is really fashionable. Do 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 do. So we're gonna grab another pop and we're just gonna fill it with gummy bears. And you're probably like, Robbie, why are you filling it with gummy bears? And there's a good reason for that. We're gonna be blow drying this bad boy and melting all the gummy bears to make one giant gummy bear mass. And then we're gonna have a giant gummy bear pop it. Oh my goodness, this is the ultimate gummy bear plan. Okay guys, so here's our poppet. I don't have a bear shaped one, so I guess the heart's gonna have to do. And now we're just gonna load this bad boy up with gummy bears. If I wanted to get really fancy with it, I would probably sort these a little bit. But considering I don't know if this actually even works, I'm not gonna waste my time with that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now we break out our hair dryer, and we're just gonna go to town. Six and a half hours later. This honestly smells kind of disgusting. It smells kind of like burnt hair coming from this, and I don't know, this just smells really gross. But anyway, just a side note. <laughs> Okay, so that was about 10 minutes, and every once in a while I would kind of push it down, and this is extremely hot, and it's really, really melted and very gooey. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it cool down for a little bit, and we'll see how it turns out when it solidifies. One eternity later. And there we go! It's nice and solidified. Now let's see if we can actually get this thing out of here. Just carefully remove it. Oh, it's actually coming out. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. Oh my gosh. Guys, it actually works. Look at that. A puppet made out of gummy bears. Boop, boop, boop. Well, guys, I'm going to have to say that this one actually works. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Whoa. Whoa. This did not hold together very well, but it definitely still tastes like a gummy bear. Okay guys, so you're looking around everywhere for your child, you just can't find them. Well, here's a perfect solution. When you do find them, just attach a bell to their shoe, and then you'll never lose them again. They'll just be making all sorts of bell sounds. They definitely won't try and take it off. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try this out on my dog, son. Okay guys, so for this one, I actually want to play a little game of hide and go seek with my dog, Ben. Oh, Benjamin! Oh. This is my dog son, Benjamin. I have attached a GoPro to his back, and he loves snacks. Come here, have a paw. Good boy. Spin. Lay down. Good boy. Okay, now we're gonna play a little game of hide and go seek. You ready? I'm gonna attach the bell to his collar. Before I did this, I actually stopped and I kinda took my time and I made sure that he was comfortable with the bell and it didn't bother him too much. He is kinda still a little curious. He's like, what the heck is this thing? Ready to play some hide and go seek? We're gonna go hide now. You ready? Stay. Stay. No, I'm gonna hide somewhere. Stay, Bench. Stay. <gasps> Red Rover! Okay, round two bench. I want a rematch. Stay, stay bench, sit, stay, stay. Oh, he's coming to find me. I gotta hide from him. I'm hiding in my office. Well, I definitely 
only know when Benj is uh, coming to find me. If you guys want me to do an entire video where I just play hide and go seek with the Benj, uh, let me know down in the comments down below. I think that'd be a really fun video, actually. I mean, here's how you're gonna make yourself a fun laptop stand. You're gonna get some cardboard and cut it into pieces just like this. Put it together just like that. Spray paint that bad boy. And now you have a beautiful organizer laptop holder. I mean, it's a little annoying if you want to get to the things underneath the laptop. Or like, if you have crayons in there, the laptop's is gonna melt the crayons. But you know what? We're gonna try it. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need some cardboard. I'm taking you guys to my garage. Oh yes, my garage. This is where I keep all my materials. Just gotta move some things around. Oh. Yeah, this piece of cardboard ought to do it. Oh wait, there's a bunch of liquid latex on the back. Well that's not gonna work. Now that is much better. So I actually kind of want to get the measurements for this thing exact, but I know for a fact I wouldn't be able to hand make these things. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and project it onto my wall right here, and then I'll get an exact measurement of how big I need it. Let's see, will this fit my laptop? Oh, actually, that's the perfect size. I think that'll work. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it to the wall really quick. Taller than expected, but you know, it, it's fine. Um, I'll make it work. This is a lot harder than expected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trace it. Here we go. Now I just have to cut it out. Okay guys, so my razor blade is actually not cutting very well right now. And that's because the blade is really dull. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. You're actually gonna wanna get yourself a screwdriver. This one kinda takes both. Um, it looks like it would prefer a Phillips, but we're gonna use this flathead instead. Go ahead and take that apart. And now, there's a bunch of new razors inside of it. How fantastic. You can also just flip this razor around. There's some gunk on it. Ooh, that's still sharp. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep using this one, but flip it around. And then just carefully put that right there. Replace the top and the little screw. And now we have ourselves a brand new razor blade. Oh, that's like butter. all of our general pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the little slots. Now I'm gonna attempt to put this thing together. So it actually looks like they had it set up like this first. So we have it set up like this first. I'm gonna actually put all these upside down. That way you don't see, uh, you know, a, a generator in the background or this these gallons of bleach. I don't really know. So apparently they went boop, boop, and then they grabbed these guys. I'm already seeing a problem with this. Very good, very good. And then this one uh, down here, but I definitely made these slots a little too big. And I actually made this completely upside down. I would have actually wanted it like this, now that I'm looking at it. I just derped up so hard. There we go. That looks so much better. No generators here. Then sir, this guy. Oh my. I don't know how they managed to get it to stick together so well because uh, they didn't even use hot glue in the video. It's supposed to just all stick together, but they lifted it from the top, so that that makes me think they at least taped it or something. But they didn't show it, so you know that's fine. So overall, guys, I'm just a little nervous to see if this is gonna hold my laptop. Where did I put it? Oh, here we go, my laptop. If you guys wanna watch the video where I customize my laptop, uh, you can go ahead and watch that right here. But in the meantime, uh, let's see if this actually holds my very expensive $1,200 laptop already falling apart before I even put it on. You ready? That, uh, uh, yeah, that wasn't good. Um, just, uh, we can make this work. Oh, God. Oh, no. That was probably important. Uh, we'll try it again. Oh! oh! It completely fell apart! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Do you guys think it's because I didn't paint it? I'm not sure exactly how that would uh, improve the structural integrity of it, but you never know. Okay, so this is what you do if you get a splinter, okay? If you get a splinter, you're supposed to say, hello, I'm a scary clown man. <laughs> and you dress up in your favorite clown mask. Oh my God, go away from me.
and then you're supposed to scare the heck out of your kid until you give them a splinter. Oh, look at that splinter. What are you gonna do? You're gonna cry over it? No, we are responsible people. We're not gonna cry over this. No. We got a life hack for you. You ready for it? Right, you just bleed push all, it. You bleed it all over. It. Bleed all over. You push the splinter in. If you thought you couldn't scare your kid anymore, just grab a needle. Life hack. Just kidding, guys. What you're gonna want to do is go back in time. Oh, well, let's restart all this. You're gonna want a syringe, and then you're just gonna want to suck that bad boy out. Oh, blood and all. Yeah. Make sure to get your favorite Hello Kitty bandage. Cause everyone carries a syringe when they go out. And give them plenty of kisses. Exactly, you gotta make sure if you're going out to the park with your kids, you bring a scary clown mask in the syringe for these occasions of someone getting a splinter. I mean, I guess that was kind of a life hack. Yeah. How about we play a game? Life hack or not life hack? I like it. I think I'm gonna have to give this point to uh, life hack. The same here, life hack, 100%. High school knowledge. Just like that. You forgot the W. Where? <laughs> it's a W after not no ledge. Okay, here you go. Life hack or basic knowledge. Okay, guys, so you're at the beach and oh no, your chocolate melted. What you're gonna wanna do is open that bad boy up and just dip some fruit in it. Wow, oh my gosh, now you have chocolate covered fruit at the beach. You're ridiculous. Let's try it. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, right now in Vegas, it is actually kind of cold. Unlike in the summers when it's 120 degrees. Right now, it's about uh, 40. So unfortunately, I don't think I'd be able to melt this chocolate bar right now. So instead, I'm just gonna break out my trusty hair dryer and we're just gonna melt it the old fashioned way. <laughs> thousand years later. Okay, so this feels properly squished. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and open this puppy up. They made it look really easy in the video, so I'm expecting it to be really easy. Oh, carefully open this bad boy up. Oh, this looks delicious. Just a little river of chocolate. There we go. Ooh, wow. We now have a perfect little plate of chocolate. So now we'll break out our fruit. Boobity boop. Get a little toothpick. Boop. We just roll our fruit all in our chocolate. Oh my gosh, guys, this looks so good. I wonder if I could just cover these in chocolate and let them sit out on parchment paper and then freeze them. And then I would have chocolate covered blueberries. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Anyway, I'm gonna try it. Oh yes, my favorite kind of fruit, chocolate covered. Whew. Okay, I'm ready to try this. It's pretty good. It's basically like chocolate fondue. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say this one absolutely works. And I would recommend it. Okay, guys, so this one is kind of complicated. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna grab a post-it note and then fold it this way, and then we fold it this way, unfold it, then uh, refold it like this, fold it like that, like this, like that, like this. Oh my gosh, this is so much. <laughs> and just put it all together like that and glue it together. <sighs> this is a lot, this is a lot. And then you get, make two of them, put them together, and then boom, wow, you got a fancy box that closes like this, that closes when you twist it. I don't get how it works, but I'm I am amazed. I would love to see if this actually works. I'm ready to be really confused. Okay guys, so like I said earlier, I'm not very good at origami, but I'm gonna try my darn best. So we're gonna start off with a single post-it note. Perfect. And apparently we just turn it to the side, fold it in half, turn it to the side again, fold it in half again, and then we unfold it, fold this little guy twice, once to where it barely touches the middle, and then we're gonna fold it again. Do the same thing with the other side. And now we have a shape that uh, kinda resembles there. So now we have to fold it up to where the point just barely touches this little point right here. The two points are gonna touch. And then once we fold it like that, we fold it back like this. So now the point is going that way. Flip this bad boy upside down. Fold this guy up. We fold this guy up like that. So that the little triangle barely peeks its little head uh, out of the square right here. We take the same little one and fold it just like that. So now they should look the opposite of each other. Just like this. Looking pretty good. Good. Now I make another one. 12 seconds later. And a booby de boop. And I made one extra. So then apparently we just grab a glue stick and just put it right on the little flaps. And we grab another one and just put them together. That doesn't seem right though. I feel like it's supposed to be like this. I could be completely incorrect. Anyway, we're gonna do it how it says to do it. These together. I don't think that makes sense. Oh, so you have to interlock them like that. Okay, and then I guess you put the glue on this side. This isn't making any sense. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Okay guys, so this maneuver was a little complicated. I couldn't tell what the heck was going on in the 
the video. So basically, you flip this bad boy over, one of them, put them together like that. This little guy is sticking through this guy. So good, good. Boopity boop, just like that. And then we take this apart and there's a little flap. You're gonna put these together like that. It should all go together fairly evenly. There we go. And it should be the opposite color to the one that it is. This was a lot. I suck at origami. And we're gonna take our glue. <sighs> this took so long. I forgot to put the cap on the glue. And now the glue is messed up. And then we fold that over. And we fold the other one over. And we do that again with all the little flaps. Glue bitty glue. Glue bitty glue. And I'm gonna use this candle uh, to put some weight on it to keep it together. And then I just have to glue together all the other ones. Shout out to my cousin. He really got me through this one. I couldn't figure this one out. And we just go ahead and glue them together like that. And I'm gonna let this dry. When it's all done, I'll show you how it turned out. Six and a half hours later. Okay guys, and here is how it turned out. It looks pretty good. Let's see if it will actually open. Oh, we have a box! It's not a perfect box. It looks fine. Let's see if we can make another one. Whoa! We have another box. I should have probably uh, maybe put them askew so that I don't have similar colors on each side. Another box! Another box! Wow! Four little boxes. This turned out really cool. Does it break down? Whoa! Dang, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think I should make a giant one. Let's get this video to 10,000 thumbs up. And if we do it, I'll actually make a giant one of these. <laughs> I can just imagine it now. Just go, that is so freaking cool. Anyway, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually works. Are you tired of your lame little bubble? <laughs> well, I have a solution for you. Add some water, a little bit of dish soap, glycerin, and just uh, mix it up with some strings attached to chopsticks. And boom, you can make yourself some giant bubbles. Wow, those are some big freaking bubbles. <laughs> this one looks like so much fun. Okay guys, so here's our little Tupperware of water. Here's our string that I already went ahead and kind of tied into a circle. Then we get our chopsticks and just tie those on too. Boopity boop. Real easy. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some dish soap to this. And it also said glycerin, but I don't have any glycerin. I just don't know where it went. And then we mix it all up. You guys ready? Oh my goodness. It's like a wall of bubbles. Okay, let's see if I can get it to work standing up like this. Go ahead and Whoa, man, I think I really need glycerin. Or more dish soap. I'm gonna go with more dish soap. Cause I have more dish soap. I don't have more glycerin. Okay, you guys ready to try this again? Here we go. Oh, it popped. Nope, here we go. Ah, oh, popped again. Ah, I don't think this is gonna work without glycerin. I don't know where my glycerin went. Okay guys, I couldn't find glycerin, but I found more cellular water, which has glycerin in it. So, you know, we're gonna do with what we have, okay? Half the bottle should be fine. I feel like that's more than enough at this point. Oh my gosh, it's already sticking so much better. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, okay. I see you. Ah! More glycerin it is. There's so much more cellular water. Mix it all up. Ah! Why don't you want to work? I'm getting soapy water You're everywhere. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I'll try something else. It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was on the floor. Oops. I'm gonna try this yarn instead. I feel like the yarn will be a lot more gentle and it'll work a little better. Okay, this darn dirty string anymore. Get that out of here. I'll be old and with the new. We're on our journey to a new kind of bubble. Oh wow, okay. It's making a triangle. You ready for this triangle bubble? Ah, it didn't work. Oh, this is so complicated. It kind of worked! Oh, we almost got it! I'm getting bubble stuff everywhere, all over my floor. There we go, we blew one bubble. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I kind of got it to work. I feel like I'm gonna need some practice with this. Okay, here we go, made the bubble thing smaller. Ah, this just doesn't want to work. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that with micellar water, this does not work. Maybe if I had proper glycerin it would work, but this doesn't still do the hacking correctly, I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry. I feel like I failed you. So for this one, you're gonna want some ham, some cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese, and then you cut it with a uh, glass. Not my first choice for a cutting tool. Cover it in some eggs, some flour, and then you just fry that bad boy right up. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm so excited for this. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh my, yes. What kind of sauce is that? What do we got? We got some Warshire sauce. We got some barbecue sauce. What kind of sauce? I got the epic sauce. I should know what kind of sauce that is. I should be a sauce expert. I should be. Okay, guys. So we're going to need some meat. And we're going to need some cheese. Then we're going to want to mix them together. A little bit of meat. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of meat. And a little bit of cheese. And a little bit of meat. Yeah, that ought to 
I do it? Ooh, that's weird how it's the exact same color as my hand. I don't like that. And we're gonna get our wine glass and just somehow cut it. And hopefully we don't break this wine glass. Ah! It actually works. Oh my gosh. Guys, I got it. How do I get it out? Ah! What do I do with all this meat and cheese? Seems a little wasteful to me. Now we have to make ourselves a little egg wash. I'm great at cracking eggs, as you can tell. I just got that everywhere, didn't I? Ah, boobity boo. Put our meat cheese in there. Really just flop it around. And then we're gonna wanna get some flour and just stick it right in there. Just make sure it completely covers our meat cheese. This is looking pretty good. Now let's throw it in our fryer. And by fryer, I just mean uh, our pan full of oil. Let that heat up for a second. That looks like it's about hot enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and shove our cheese meat in. Fry it on up. Oh yes, fried cheese meat. I think I'm gonna double fry it. So I'm gonna put some more flour and um, egg water on it. I probably shouldn't have just dropped it in like that. Okay guys, this is looking about done. Just gonna put it on a napkin and just dab off all the excess grease. Cause I really don't need to eat that much oil. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this looks really delicious. It kinda reminds me of like a biscuit almost. If you put this in front of me and said it was a biscuit, I'd probably believe you. Let's see how this bad boy tastes. Oh yes. Oh! That's so hot. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm really excited. It kind of smells like a chicken nugget. Mmm, that's interesting. It's very hot. Okay, so honestly, it's not bad. I definitely think that you could season this a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and try it with some Sweet D's uh, sweet and tangy barbecue sauce. It's one of my favorite barbecue sauces. Mmm. This will really complement the, the ham. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. And it's super delicious. Wow! Okay guys, this one looks like a lot of fun. So it looks like today we're gonna be playing with some moon sand. Or I guess this brand's called Kinetic Sand. There's a lot of packaging in this. Did they really have to double bag it? Anyway, is moon sand supposed to be like a giant block like this? I don't know, that doesn't sound right to me. Maybe I just have to really break it up. It kind of smells like vinegar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten out this moon sand a little bit. And then I guess I just shove it into the poppet. For some reason, this feels very dry. Like, is it supposed to be this dry? I have very little experience with moon sand, you see. This is why they call me the craft king and not the moon sand king. Gonna push the sand into all the crevices. Okay, I'll give it its own spot. You guys ready for the big reveal? Three, two, one! But before I do that, I need everyone to hit the Button. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to leave a comment because I'm gonna be responding to the first 100 subscribers who comment on this video. Anyway, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Now carefully just pull it out. Is it gonna let me do it? Did I ruin it? Guys, it appears to not really be working. I think I have to pop them out as I do it. So that's a little annoying. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I see you, moon sand. I mean, it looks like it, it kind of worked. Let's see, will it pop? Oh, I just broke it. Okay, try another one. Ah! Ah! Boop, 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 boop. It's definitely not as satisfying as popping the real thing. But other than that, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I mean, it'll keep you kind of entertained if you only have one pop in. And moon sand, I guess. For this one, you're gonna want to tear apart a pillow. Take all the stuffing, add a few Christmas lights, and boom! It looks like you're floating on a cloud. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need some stuffing. And that's why I'm bringing Snorlax to this party. Okay, Snorlax, uh, I'm gonna borrow some of your guts really quick. Take some of that out. You know what? I'm gonna take all of it out. Just have a giant pillowy wonderland. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. I was wondering where all my polyfill went, and I think I remember that I just shoved it all in here. Oh, there's so much. Oh, we are set forever. Oh my gosh, I could just fill the entire craft corner, guys. Oh, <gasps> this is awesome. Guys, it literally looks like I'm on a cloud. <laughs> yes! Uh, look at all of this, this cloud. I'm gonna go ahead and spread it out just a little bit. This is a tall pile, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, it's slippery. Now I'm gonna grab some Christmas lights and just carry put this in here. I feel like this might be a little bit of a fire hazard if I'm being totally honest. Oh wow, now it just looks like a perfect cloudy paradise. Oh wow, this is fantastic. Now let's take some photos on here, shall we? Uh, okay guys, so I have the bench here. He has volunteered as my little photo uh, assistant. I'm gonna give you some snacks for being a really good boy. Here, I'm gonna take some photos on my phone. 
alone. Oh my gosh, look at him. Go. Oh my gosh, Benji, you are so adorable. Oh, well, snack. There I go. Oh yeah, sit, sit, sit. Good boy. Yeah, you look so cute, Ben. <laughs> oh, you look adorable, Benji, man. Guys, Benj did a fantastic job. Thank you for being part of my little photo shoot. You are free to go, little man. There you go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this actually works. It looks like you're in heaven. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this. Find it right down there. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Also, make sure to subscribe to my clips and vlog channel. And if you guys like this video as well, I'll just be trying more fun five minute crafts life hacks. I have a whole playlist that I can be doing that right here. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. I'm Okay, bye. Ah!